Hello, ladies and gentlemen, gamer guys and gals. I am your host, Imaginationless. And I'm Blake645. So we first got Apollotina and Mario. We are going to see a lot of very obnoxious combos. Probably, and a lot of nares. <laughs> I don't see Mario use nair a lot. I, no, I think he likes to approach with up air. Because, yeah, up air is one of his best moves he has. Up air is like Palutena's nair. <laughs> Alright, Taco Guy, you need to simmer down a little bit, okay? But I, don't, I know you're like my biggest fan, but still, you need to simmer down. Bro, we're all your fit. We are all your biggest fan. True. You gotta realize that, my man. Yeah, but we got the zero to death, so I mean, hopefully it's Mario it's gonna probably make a comeback. Let's be real though, it's Palutena. Yeah, she can just immediately turn it right back into another zero to death. Well, yeah, we're not really right now. She's at thirty-seven. Maybe Mario. Sea bass. Found out something we didn't. Oh, hi, Bellcat. You better do your match, buddy. Bellcat, you better win. I want to see a you and Blake Grand Finals. No. Well, that's probably never going to happen, but. Ah, oh, man. I believe in you guys. I've we never seen Mario know, we, it. We, we personally know, Bellcats. I mean. We only taught we only played friendlies last Saturday. He's very attached. This Mario had that ledge grab like down packed. And then he just stopped doing the ledge grabs. Oh, okay. He didn't do a thing after it. Yeah. It's, it's a step by step process. You have to learn how to grab the ledge before you learn how to edge guard. Yeah. That's a dead Mario. <laughs> Oh, are we gonna get the three stock, or is he gonna just, you know, kill Paul Tandon? Can we get some one more stock chance in the chat? Yeah, well, yeah, one more stock chance. One more stock. One more stock. One more stock. I like Mario, though. It's sad to see him get demolished like this. Yeah, he's, he's getting destroyed already. I feel bad for this guy. Miss Palutena the Grinder out here, grinding this Mario into a pile of meaty mess. But I think Jimin was saying earlier that this uh, Palu is a newcomer. Really? We might have a new champion on our hands here, ladies and gentlemen. If that's a big iffy, evils of defeat, um, Magic Trumpet Man or King Chris, or any of the other champions we have. Ooh, that the three, is game. The three stock. Three stock from Narcissa. That was game also, one. let's be real. If you lose to Mac as Palutena, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you need to put your controller down. Maybe it was a music counter pick. Well, we'll say Cortex DQ'd, so what's like, I'm moving on to the bracket. Poggers, poggers. Woo. Seabass is out here with the Nair train. Of course, he didn't take it very far. He's like, hold up, let me show you how to spin this rod. Valcax, you better win with Sands. I, I better see you win with Sands. Is he playing Sands? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Why'd they have to pick me, Gunner? Me, Gunner is the worst. Well, yeah, well, they really can't make Sands a new fighter. He would have made a good brawler. A fighter. True. Oh well. Back to the match. We're seeing a lot of- Whoa! Ledge cancel back air. This man knows what he is doing, and he's doing it right, ladies and gentlemen. It took me a minute of maining Palutena to get, uh... Ledge cancels down. Kinda tough. I feel like Mewtwo would be good... If he could ledge cancel like that. You definitely get a lot more off of it than Palutena can. And the first stock goes to Narcissa. Seabass down one stock, currently. 50% on the board. There's a lot to catch up.
Here come the juggles. Palutena's disadvantage is just incredible. She just has to teleport to the ground, really. Yeah. I have seen Palutena's, especially in top tier play. They try to teleport to the ground, but their teleportation always gets caught by the other opponent. At lower level play like this, it doesn't necessarily... Or rather, it's not a bad option at all. I'd pretty much relate it to Pikachu's uh, up here. Where you can just use it while you're in disadvantage and immediately escape it. Alright, I'm gonna go do my match, so I'm gonna get myself. What, <laughs> brother? Narcissa was trying to end this a little early, charging that up smash. It would have been a wild read, though. Walling with some back airs. Some nares. I don't really know how to, how to commentate this ditto. It's literally just whoever gets the first nair, and then a combo after that. Or a kill, like you just almost saw. You can see Seabass is really going in for this back air. And a back throw. We'll see off the stock. Palutena has one of the most satisfying meets in the game. I'd rank it among Inkling and... I guess Mario? That's a back air coming out from Narcissa. Bringing Seabass down to one stock. I mean, like, let's be real here. It's not a three stock. <laughs> Palutena is one of the few characters that have kept their spot solidly in top tier. Everyone's too afraid to put her in high tier, even though she has super uh, predictable play. But I can understand it because. You can predict it all you want, but countering it is another option. <laughs> Rather, another deal entirely. Of course, whoever wins in a Palutena ditto, it's not really about out-cheesing, like it would be with Ganon or some heavy. It's really about fundamentals. Palutena is very fundamental heavy. If you're good at any character, really, you're going to be dope at Palutena. Battle Cats switching off the Joy-Cons. What a pro gamer move. Narcissa is on his last stock. Game over. Never mind. Seabass's fate has been sealed. He is dropped out of the bracket. Well, he got dropped out of the winner's bracket.